that's, it helped me get the, you know, get the power to be able to help other people, and that's all I, that's all I ever want to do since when I first got into music, and I believe Sean's story is one of the most amazing ever because he literally got signed off of a freestyle to now, and I say it all the time, having the potential to be one of the biggest artists in the world, and I feel like he could be like what, you know, Beyonce is to R&B, that he can be that to rap music. Yeah. So as far as good music goes, the swag is just all the way up. This is what we do. And you know, what, and, what, and what we lack in like a cheap ass hook or whatever that happens and shit, we make up for in the level of attention to quality and that's what it is. And uh, I wanted to point out that on this project, when I say no ID, my mentor, and let the story begin, you know, we went through this process where I used to knock on no ID's door when I was 14 years old, and my mother knew his mother and uh, introduced me to him, and that connection, and he had did Visa Com, and that connection, if it wasn't for no ID, I wouldn't have been to the position I got to, and there wouldn't be Sean in this position, and so as far as anybody in this room, the most important person in this room definitely has to be no ID, and it's so amazing that he is there. Executive producer and has brought so many amazing, amazing tracks. And you see the, the, the just the sensitivity in the samples and, and what we that he brings the officialness of what we grew up with from the Primo style and the Pete Rock style and the RZA style. Yeah. That he was definitely the Beat Nuts, Diamond D, all that shit that made the college dropout was an extension of what Common and No ID was doing out of Chicago and from the Midwest for us to be able to be in New York around like such important people. It's just amazing. I'm like looking at this like, bro, I some real, let's see who kid back there. I see Khaled right here. It's yeah. enough right here. And, and um, I, I just really want to say that I, I, I feel like, you know, Jay, that line was really important when he said, no, I, no, I did the beat and I let the story begin. But it's very important that you all realize that it's, it's not, you know, it's not just music and shit. This, this rap shit is real shit. It's street shit. It's all type of shit that in no ID is literally the fucking mentor that balances all, right. all this shit out. For me, like as a little kid coming from Chicago, whether it's like protecting me and shit, whether it's like I'm pulling up in my Ford Expedition thinking everything is sweet, getting cornered by like five four corner hustlers and shit. And that's the nigga that they would have to talk to that literally put me in a position to finally make it out of Chicago to be the one nigga that got on that fucking flight to came out here. Wow. And uh, it, it's amazing that he's the one that actually made it possible for Sean to not, you know, been there for three years to not get dropped, to fucking do records and records and push him to be his own artist, to go out on his own tours and make his own name for himself. And now, y'all heard those Good Friday tracks. I feel like there's moments where he really... He, he, he really stepped up to the occasion and really came away with, you know, I know I know we don't be into like, who got the best first, who got the best first. There's a, there's a couple moments of shit where Big Sean really, really, really stepped into his own and shit. Not just sit back, you know, I'm really, really, and I apologize that I was a little bit late. I had a, I had a throne to watch and shit. I was like, <laughs> yeah. and, and the reason why is because Sean came in his app, Sean played me his album, and that shit had me arguing with motherfuckers for the rest of the day. <laughs> but seriously, man, I'm just really proud of this young man. And just all in the building, the family is here, Kid Cudi is here, Pusha T is here, and shit. Like, and, 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 and just the, the, the legitimacy of those artists and what they represent all in their spaces and their circles and their fan base, it's about good music first, official things that connect with people in a special way, and Sean is an extension of that, and is a very proud member of, of the family, and I just really appreciate everybody, especially Gabby worked hard as a motherfucker, pushing me, pushing everybody at the label for my project, and now is the one that really, really pushed him in the building and shit, so just, I, I apologize, you know, if I forget anybody's name, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everybody that got involved with this young man's project really early to get it to this point. I'm just really overwhelmed by the uh, by the support in the room. So I just appreciate that. Thank you.